Hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk a little bit about reticles. Now reticles are something that I get questions on quite often. Uh, some people ask me like, hey John, which reticle should I get? Or some people will ask me like, hey John, should I get a BDC or a regular mill style reticle or MOA style reticle? And, uh, and usually I suggest a mill or MOA style reticle. Now there's a couple reasons why and this is, and, and we'll go through each of them. Now, uh, the differences here, really quick, is an MOA or mill style reticle is using MOA, right, or minute of angle, or mill radians, which is, uh, they are both just units of measurement. Nothing fancy, it's like a ruler in your scope. Um, when you come to a BDC or a bullet drop compensator or um, <laughs> BDC, right, uh, there is a few differences that that people need to understand when they go ahead and start thinking about getting one BDCs are rated or uh, They are usually measured or pre-measured for 100 200 300 400 and, and so on yards the problem with BDCs are It's not rated to you your gun your eyes, your scope height, or your ammo. So, so what it what it does for you is absolutely nothing. Sometimes, um, I've seen a lot of guys with BDCs come to classes or are using a BDC in a different class that I'm a student in, and they they tend to struggle a bit because it doesn't line up, right? Because you're not using the exact thing that that factory of whoever made that reticle made or did it for. So what you're using is literally like a, a ruler that's not for you, right? A ruler that's measured for somebody else. Really weird, I know, but bear with me for a minute. Now, MOA mill is just using a metric, right? A, a, a measurement method, that's, and that's it. Nothing fancy about it. It's literally using either quarters, right? Or 0.1 or dimes. And when you go about that and you start understanding what each of them mean and you stick to it, don't try to like mix the two because that's where you're going to start getting mix, mixed up. But if you start keeping to one or the other, so for example, I keep all my scopes, every single one of them, my LPVOs to my longer range scopes, uh, all under mill, right? Mill turrets, mill reticles. And what that does for me is give me the same measurement system throughout all of my optics. The way mills work, or MOA even, is that there's usually a crosshair of some sort in the reticle, and then there's hash marks that mean different things. Some of them are quarters, or point twos, or halves, or full mill or MOA marks. Meaning, if, if we we're using my little drawn reticle, that one right in the middle is my zero, right? So 100 yards, or that's where my 100 yard zero would be. Then, halfway, that's half a mil, right, or half MOA. Then the two mark is two MOA, right? Between the two and the three, 2.5, and so on and so forth. So that right there is gonna give me a unit of measurement that when I shoot, I can start to gather my dope for the specific gun, optic height, ammo, and me, right? Me, my eyes, and myself. So being able to do that and start collecting dope as in Let's say I shoot at 200 yards at a small plate and I hit it, right? And I dialed 1.5, right? So I, I'm sorry, I dialed 0.5 at 200 yards. Cool, that's that hash mark right there. So then I know what my hold is or what I can dial on the scope, 0.5. And then that way I understand where my, where my stuff is going and what my dope is for 200 yards on whatever I'm using. So it doesn't matter what kind of ammo, what kind of optic height, what kind of rifle it is. It doesn't matter any of that stuff because I'm not worrying about that. I'm using this as a measurement tool in the scope, okay? So hopefully that's understandable. Then we look at BDC. Now BDC is something I stay away from. Um, it is absolutely useless in my eyes. I'm sure there's a use for it somewhere, but 
in my, in my opinion, it's useless. So sorry if I hurt your feelings. Now, BDC is going to be a, it's going to be measured to, like I said, somebody else, their eyes, somebody else's gun, right? Meaning barrel length, twist rate, whatever. And then somebody else's ammo, whatever that ammo that they're using is. And then also their scope height, right? The height that they mount their scope. That means that when you set up your gun with a BDC reticle, you're now guesstimating that it's gonna be close enough. Which, if you've ever heard me say it, if uh, you're sitting there saying close enough or good enough, you obviously know there's better, so why not achieve it? But going through, the way BDCs usually work is the center is your zero, you're supposed to zero them at 100 usually, and then from there, two is supposed to be your 200 yard mark, Three is your 300, four, and five, and whatever, and so on and so forth. Once again, <laughs> if you're not using the same combination as that other person and have very similar eyes, you're going to start to uh, have to hold up and, and or high and low to try and figure out where it is actually hitting. And then from there, you're going to have to remember, hey, I have to hold on the four mark low on the target to actually hit it in in the in some kind of space now is that going to work for human beings absolutely but is it going to work for anybody trying to take a really precise shot on a human being absolutely not you're going to have to take body shots or really big area kind of shots it, it is a waste of a reticle in my opinion if i'm going to use a reticle and start to get magnification involved in there or being able to dial or anything like that you want to have a good measurement tool that not only you can speak to other people that are using the same measurement tool, but you calibrated it by collecting your dope to you, your gun, your ammo, your scope height. So, uh, overall, gents and ladies, MOA or mill style reticles above any kind of BDC reticle. If you already have a BDC, I'm sorry for your loss right? Figure out a way of selling it to somebody or using it on a rifle that you're not going to use any of this bullet compensation for uh, or build the rifle that's specific to it. But uh, once again, good luck with that. Uh, nowadays with ammo and things like that, it's going to be hard to get exactly what they shot out of that gun. Uh, maybe, who knows, but up to you, up to you and how much you care about keeping a BDC reticle. So hope that helps kind of explain it a little bit, guys. And, uh, and hopefully this is something educational that you could have uh, learned from. And if you have any questions, put them down below. And obviously, I always encourage you guys to go out to my website, check out the blog. There's tons of information on there. And if you want to come learn some stuff, um, uh, when it comes to long range stuff, I don't teach it. And there's plenty of good instructors out there. Uh, Kaylin Wojcik, Phil Vallejo of Modern Day Sniper. I've heard Rifles Only is fantastic. The guys from... Uh, Ridgeline Tactical are really good, um, but if you're looking for scoped carbine or scoped rifle stuff, that's going to take you out to longer ranges. Unfortunately, I don't teach that because it's not my wheelhouse, but there are great instructors out there that I go to myself and recommend them to you. So, hope that helps, guys. Take care.